he had been heard many times about those particular divine names of god if anyone used those specific names of god in their prayers and wish anything would be definitely fulfilled but those names of god was not known by anyone as per his knowledge yet one day he heard from a trustable source that somewhere very far away a man knows about those divine names of god he got excited and decided to make a travel to learn that knowledge which could change his miserable life into a luxurious life after many days of traveling and tolerating lots of hardship and problems finally he reached his destination but he felt a great disappointment when he saw it was a small hut in which that man lived if he would know those secret names of god then why this man did not change his own living standard of life why he is living in a small hut but because he had been reached there facing much difficulties so he decided to meet the man about whom it was claimed he knows those sacred names of god which could change anyone's destiny so he called the man from outside and he started to wait but the meanwhile what he see there was a farm at some distance from the hut where an old man was forced to plow the farm instead of by ox and a robust young man who was having a whip in his hand used to hit the old man when he gets slow due to his age and weakness to see that scene the man felt very bad and pity for the old man and thought if he would have known those divine names of god then he could not save the old man from that crime when he was busy in this kind of thoughts then a man came out from the hut and asked the purpose to meet him the traveler introduced himself and said i heard you are the man who knows some specific divine names of god which change lives i want to know do you really know those secret names of god the man said yes i know those great names of god if you include these names in your prayers you will see your wishes are getting fulfilled then the traveler said if it so then why don't you see the crime that a strong young man doing at that weak and poor old man in front of you why doesn't your heart melt to see such a crime why don't you use those divine names and pray to god to rid of that old man from the torture then the man smiled and said that weak and poor old man you see is the man who taught me those divine names of god he is my master and i am his student whenever he would like he can free himself from that crime without the help of anyone after replying the man asked the traveler still would you like to learn those names of god to make your life better traveler said no and returns back to his home after learning a great lesson of life in whatever condition god keep us we should accept it and never complain and be thankful what we already have and should never try to achieve our goals by wrong means